That's where right. he's that um, we haven't even looked at yet that we're doing and we don't realize that the socioeconomic and psychosocial it's been shown to cause a lot of readmission and we're all going to be hitting that patient at a different piece of the puzzle and we'll be able to hopefully catch this stuff up front so that we're not sending them back to the ER because they don't have oxygen because it just wasn't, sorry, people well, don't have oxygen, but <laughs> their, their house is unsafe or they can't read because you might get them in the house and they might not be able to show you or read what's on the paper, stuff like that that we can urban, help. This is an urban readmission permit, which is very different than some of the work that's been done elsewhere. Those, those psychosocial issues, those socioeconomic issues are huge. And we know as treating clinicians on the inpatient side and in the ED, uh, and as nurses, and yeah. that's what brings people back into the system. Right? And oftentimes, it has nothing to do with medicine. Right. It has to do with all of the exactly. other stuff. And so social workers in the home health arena, social workers uh, on the hospital side, wouldn't be surprised if there's social workers on the EMS side before too long, can intensively manage these people and mobilize resources for them. So I think it looks promising, uh, but mm -hmm. it, has to be, it has to be shown. So we've got, we've got some work to do.